Hi and welcome to Revit for BIM Training Seminars Session 1 The Basics Part 14 Geolocation and Sun Study. Okay. I've got a design here and I'm going to try and place it or geolocate it to an accurate point on the planet using Google Maps and using that geolocation we can then get an accurate sun study. If we go to the manage tab and go to location, it's very straightforward. We've got a map and we can drag it to wherever we like. I'm going to place my marker on the University of the West of England over here and then OK so it's very straightforward we can now also set up orientation if we look on plan view we've got north, south, east and west but what if your building is not directly oriented north, south, east and west it's very useful to keep this orientation and that's called Project North. You can see it's here in the Floor Plans properties. True North and Project North. Setting up True North to be different than Project North might be something you need to do. So we'll go through how to do that. If I set the view to looking at True North, at the moment they are the same. rotate true north I take true north and then rotate it to a different angle and it's as simple as that so now I can switch between true north view and project north view next we'll set up a sun study we'll do this in the 3D view and I'll set a top down view. Okay, so for best practice, I'm going to duplicate my 3D view and turn on the Sun Study options. Just quickly rename it 3D Sun Study. Turn on the Sun Study options here. If I turn on, on the shadows, and where it says sun path off I'll go to sun settings there's quite a lot we can do in here and it's well worth studying through them all but we'll start with a very simple one a single day sun study sunrise to sunset it's taken my location that's a set up already and the date is middle of the summer so we've got quite a high sun angle time interval is one hour and sunrise to sunset would give us 17 frames I can change that and I will do down to 15 minute setting ground plane at level so what's it considering zero level zero that's fine and apply that okay so what we're seeing there is the start position of our shadow at dawn coming from the east. If I now go to where we saw sun settings before we've now got an extra one called preview solar study and if I hit play now it will cycle through the sun settings for that day. Okay of course we don't have to look at it from the top that was for demonstration purposes only it's a 3D view, we can do whatever we like with it. And we get those options now. Now we've set that up, that one day view. If I was to go to one of my internal views, for instance, sun settings, single day, go through the same process. I get the same options here preview solar study. So you have to turn it on for this view. For each view you turn it on. 
you can see I'll get an animation of what the sun's going to do internally. So that's sun studies. If I want to export that, I can go to top left, export images and animations, solar study, and set up in there what I want some of the settings to be. OK that, and I get an AVI file. OK, so that's pretty straightforward. Thank you, and please find the next video.